the mellow ball mb1 the one of one ladies and gentlemen showed off his custom made new watch flooded with diamonds ladies and gentlemen could you have thought anything less from the one of one mb1 the one of one i i mean seriously he's that he's that he's that rare you know and i'm not surprised uh i want to get into a lot of different things today involving the one of one i think sometimes we miss certain things because we get so caught up and enamored with his spectacular play sometimes we forget about his off the floor potential that i feel like the nba and i think certain brands and um things of that nature need to truly tap into i think that we haven't seen the the half of what Lamelo ball nb1 can do in this league on and off the floor we're gonna get all into it make sure you subscribe to flight sports tv we drop an array of LaMelo Ball, Ball Family, Triple B content. You already know what it is. Shout out LaMelo, Lonzo, Jello, LeVar, the whole Triple Bs. Now, listen, I mean, that now the watch is just crazy. I mean, you see it's just, it's just a lot of diamonds. You see the mellow inside. You know, you see his logos. You know, the Phoenix. You see everything. You know, the LaFrance um, logo as well. So you have all of these things featured on this new watch and this uh jeweler who made the watch he made a uh, array of pieces for nba and professional athletes uh he just made a piece um if you know one of the custom pieces that paulo bancura got i believe it says f5 if i'm not mistaken uh the guy who made that piece got this watch for him you know so i did some investigation you already know here at flight sports you know the mellow ball gonna get the right pieces ladies and gentlemen you know, he's not just going to go to any jeweler. You know, and I think that a lot of these fashion brands like the Gucci's, the Fendi's, the things of that nature, I think they need to get behind the one of one. I think we missing that aspect of mellow. We seen them in commercials for movies and things of that nature. I think that the NBA is dropping the ball with the crossover potential that LaMelo Ball can bring to this league. LaMelo Ball could be a much greater asset. You know, obviously he is used for many things. You've seen him uh, when they did the NBA. I believe, I forgot what it was, the 75 part of me. He was featured in the commercial. Y'all remember that? Uh, so I just think that he still should be featured more. You have guys like LeBron James. I know that they continue to cling on to him. We've seen clear as day. LeBron is on his way out the door, ladies and gentlemen. We just got to call it how we see it. You know, we all got the same set of eyes. Some work better than others. But we all can attest that LaMelo Ball, LaMelo Ball is in line to be one of the faces of this league. As you see LeBron James phasing on the way out. Even though LeBron was knocking on the door of the NBA Finals, but we know what's going on on, on the floor. LaMelo was 21 years of age. He's six seven. You know, uh, he was drafted third overall if you've been living under a rock. LaMelo Ball has been playing professional for a very, very long time. You know, pro even, like I said, it's... We're going to get all into it, man, because we'll be giving people a history lesson. You know, if you need more information on the one of one make sure you subscribe and check on our live streams. We have some of the best people in the world who could discuss this for you, ladies and gentlemen. Also, <clears throat> you know, as LaMelo continues to progress on the floor, because I think that's very important as well. You know, we could get, he could, he could do all of these things off the floor, but, um, he has to be able to bring it, uh, on the floor. That's, that's, that's really the most important to be honest with you, you know, so he has to get winning, you know, so that, that the Hornets, they have to have this big time draft pick, you know, we are hands on that, you know, and we understand the seriousness that's in stake right now for the Charlotte Hornets. And LaMelo Ball, I think if he was to make it to the postseason, that heightens his profile furthermore. You know, LaMelo has had great games. You know, we've seen him in high school. We've seen him, you know, obviously overseas. We've seen him in the NBA. You know, we didn't get a chance to see it in the summer league, but that's neither here nor there. I, I just can imagine, you know, with the, the way the game is played in the postseason, what level the mellow ball could take his game to under those lights, you know, under that pressure, you know, uh, I think that where a team is different from playing, 
Because I know some people might say, hey, we've seen him in the plan. The plan, that's like sudden death. You know, we don't really know. Who's to say if they didn't have a series, the Hornets would have never beat the Hawks? Or if they would have had a series, the Hornets would have never beat the Pacers, you know? So, I mean, we'll, we'll never know, you know? But, I mean, it is what it is. But bottom line is, the further he goes, you know, if we get electrifies in the postseason, I mean, now we're talking something different. Now we're going into a whole other stratosphere, you know, because like I said, we've seen it at every other level but the NBA playoffs. And I think that's next to happen. So make sure you stay tuned, you know, because you don't want to miss it, man. We're going to be documenting it all the way through. Um, you already know here at Flight Sports, we want LaMelo Ball in the postseason at all costs. It's to the point now where we don't care how it how it has to get done. Just get it done, you know. Um, and like I said, it is what it is. So I'm not surprised. The Mellow Ball got probably one of the, you know, probably the top swaggers in the in the whole NBA. And I'm, that goes for everything, not just dressing, you know, playing, you know, just everything. The Mellow Ball is just everything about Mellow is swagger. You know, he's like swagger personified. You know, so I, I can only imagine, you know, when it's all said and done and every year he's in the league, his swag, his profile to continue to heighten. And the man is in tour right now as we speak, y'all. He's um, overseas doing, he's going to be in Dubai, Milan. You, you, we documented it. You make sure you check the catalog so you can understand what Melo is doing right now. He is on a world tour as we speak with Puma. And they are about to unveil something spectacular that we're going to get into later on today. Make sure you subscribe for the next update on the Mellow Ball MB1, the one of one. You already know what it is. This is an exciting time. Like I said, I know we get so caught up with the on the floor, you know, thing. Sometimes we forget what type of mega star that we're dealing with here. You know, and I think that we that gets lost because we get so enamored, you know, and caught up with the politics and with the Charlotte Hornets. We all know it is an array of politics. You know, dealing from Michael Jordan, Cup Chat, down to Clifford and the players. But I think that this season, I, I know that this season is going to be a little bit more continuity, a little bit more certainty on and off the floor. Whether, you know, I think that guys were obviously suspended last year, even with Miles. We never knew when Miles was going to come back. It was, he was looming that. We didn't know it was going to be the whole year, even though we sent something like that could have happened. But we all thought that possibly he could make a return. But now we know he'll be back this season. We don't know what's going to happen with PJ. So make sure you subscribe. You know, July is going to be fastly approaching the NBA draft. What do the Hornets do? We're going to document it here. Shout out to NB1, the one of one. You already know what it is. LaMelo Balls, Flight Sports.